we are going to see the next part of the lesson that is natural satellite second manas artificial satellite third manas meteoroids and fourth one is the asteroids we are going to see about these three these four things and what is the first one is the natural satellite first one is the natural satellite what is this natural satellite they are nothing but the small smaller celestial bodies celestial bodies that revolves revolves around the planets around the planet is called natural satellite what is this children natural satellite it's nothing but it's a smaller celestial bodies that sun the moon they are called as celestial bodies that revolves around the planet is called as the natural satellites and power for our earth moon is the natural satellite natural satellites and it's the moon's diameter is its uh, diameter is how much 1/4 1/4 of the uh, that of that of earth so what's the diameter of the moon it is 1/4 of the earth and it is how much 3 lakhs 84400 kilometers away from us from our planet uh, earth how much kilometers away from us 3 lakhs 84000 and 400 kilometers away from us and it appears very big why because it's nearer to the nearer to our planet than other celestial bodies than the other celestial bodies it appears very big because it is nearer to our planet earth than the other celestial bodies what is natural satellite smaller celestial bodies that revolves around the planet is called as the natural satellites and moon is the natural satellite of our earth our earth and its diameter is 1/4 of that of the earth earth oda diameter vida 1/4 its longer and it is 3 lakhs 84400 kilometers away from the uh, uh, earth and that is why it looks uh, very big because it is clo closer to our planet earth than the other celestial bodies and uh, earth the moon is constantly move changing its time the moon is constantly changing its changing its shape moon is constantly change its shape why because uh, the it is sometimes visible completely visible it's completely 
visible and sometimes it is partially partially visible this uh, moon is constantly change its shape during the night times so why because it sometimes it's completely visible and partially not visible and sometimes it cannot be seen in the night this is because why the reason it is not seen in the uh, night and it changes its shape because because of the two movements because of the two movements one movement is across its own axis across its own axis and uh, that is like a just like a spinning of a top every the top spin panumo on its own like that the one movement is across its own axis and the second movement the second movement across the earth across the earth and on its on a fixed orbit so the moon constantly changes shape why because of the two movements one movement is across its own axis and that spinning like a top how the top is spinning like that and the second movement is across the earth on a fixed orbit and it takes 27 days days to complete two movements how many days it takes children it takes to complete its two movements because of this dual movement because of this dual movement we can able to see the one side of the moon because of the dual movement we can see the one side of the moon that is why the moon appears to constantly change its shapes during the night why it constantly changes shape because mainly because of the two movement the one movement is across its own axis and the second movement across the earth on a fixed orbit this is about the natural satellite next we'll see about the artificial satellite next about the artificial satellite these artificial satellites are made by human it is a object artificial slates uh, satellites are man made other human made uh, like an it's a object okay and according to scientists they have made this only to get the uh, informations they have designed the scientists have designed for what purpose to get informations or collect informations to collect information about universe to collect information about the universe or for radio communication for this purposes these artificial satellites are made by human it's a object and they design for what purpose it has designed children it is designed to get or collect an informations about the universe or for radio communication it is 
taken into space how it is taken into space by rocket by rocket or space shuttle it's taken into space by rocket or space shuttle and they are launched in various orbit so the artificial satellites are made by humans and it is an object and it is designed mainly for to get or collect informations about universe patiyo and for the use of radio communications they have designed the artificial satellites and it how it is taken into space by rocket through rocket they are taken or the space shuttle and it is launched in various or better and many countries have launched many uh, satellites india that first satellites it spent into space is aryabhatta aryabhatta and the year 19 75 they launched the first space uh, satellite is aryabhatta in the year 1975 and after this so launching this uh, satellite they have launched many other satellites also like the most important are insat isr edu sat these are the other important satellites other important satellites launched by india these are all launched by india so these are the other important satellites launched by india these artificial satellites are man human made Uh, object it is designed to get or collect the information about the universe or uh, for the radio communications and it is taken into by space by rocket or the space shuttle and it is uh, launched in various object various orbit and uh, india launched its first space satellites that is aryabhatta in 1975 five and we have also have important other important satellites insat isr and edu sat currently we have currently now currently we have now now 400 3000 satellites satellites orbits how many 3000 satellites orbits round the earth now we have artificial satellites 3000 round the earth this is about the artificial satellites children we have seen the natural satellite artificial satellites then we are going to see about the meteoroids meteoroids we have you might have seen a shooting star shooting stars in the night sky they are nothing but the burning burning pieces burning pieces of rock debris what is this meteoroids children they are nothing but the burning pieces of the rock debris that is is called meteoroids this is called as a meteoroids and they travel at a very high speed travel at a high speed so these meteoroids travel at a high speed and causes the friction 
causes the friction b due to the air it's come into contact with the uh, air and because of that it causes the friction okay then then it becomes hot because of this it has come in contact with the air it causes friction because of this friction it becomes hot children and it causes it causes a yeah, bright bright streak of light across the night sky so because it come into contact with the uh, friction of uh, due to air this uh, becomes very hot and we can see a streak of light streak of light is like this when it is it, it light travel like this this is what a streak of light this is what a streak of light you can see this bright streak of light across the night sky sometimes on the kid apde vidara mari or star you can able to see that is what a streak of light you can see in the night sky and this streak of light is called meteor what is called meteor this streak of light is called meteor why the streak of light happens because of the uh, friction of the air it this uh, streak of light appears and it is called as a meteor and uh, sometimes this meteors the does not burn fully meteors meteoroids does not burn it won't burn fully and falls on the earth falls on the earth and causes the halo and causes the halo called cracker cracker crater what is this crater so the meteoroid does not burn fully and sometimes it falls on the earth surface and causes a halo or kuri madri earth mele vilunde it will make a halo that is called a crater then all the pieces does not fall on the earth some pieces they won't feel on the uh, fall on the earth and these points pieces are called and some pieces does not fall on the earth surface and that is called as a meteorites meteor rights some for all the uh, meteoroids does not burn and some fall on the earth and causes the halo called crater and some pieces does not fall on the earth surface and that pieces are called meteorites uh, uh, once again i explain about the meteoroids children and the meteoroids is a burning pieces of rock debris is called the meteoroids and then it travels to a high speeds and they have come into contact with the uh, air and cause a friction and then this um, it becomes a hot gases because of friction it become hot and bright and it makes a streak of light across the night sky this streak of light is called as the meter meteors and all the meteoroids does not uh, burn some fall on the earth surface and it is called a crater and some pieces does not fall on the earth surface that is called the meteorites then 
asteroids what is this asteroids children they are there are numerous numerous rocky bodies located between the mars and jupiter mars and jupiter there are numerous rocky bodies located between between these two planet mars and jupiter between those two planets there are numerous rocky bodies they are called asteroids asteroids according to the scientists how these asteroids are formed they are the parts of planets they are formed because of the parts of planets that is exploded exploded billions of years ago billions of years ago these are the parts of the broken parts of the planets and this were exploded billions of years ago and uh, the largest asteroids the largest asteroids in the solar system solar system is called ceres what is it is called it is called ceres once again i'll repeat this asteroids asteroids it's a numerous various rocky bodies that is located between the two planets mars and jupiter and uh, these are according to the scientists uh, how they are formed they are formed because of the burning of the or exploded of the um, this is actually a part of a planet and this is because formed because of the exploded billions of years ago and the smallest uh, Uh, asteroids in the solar system is called a ceres okay this is about your today's lesson you have seen natural satellites artificial satellites meteoroids and asteroid i hope you have understood the lesson thank you children